Man, finding parking in Venice today is just like finding a needle in a haystack. Almost impossible. <laughs> and as soon as I said it's hard to find parking, somebody pulls out right in front of me. Is that just a coincidence or stuff like this happens? It's unbelievable. Still far away from the beach, $25 parking. The closer you get, the more expensive it is. Over there was all day 25. Here it's three hours for 25. But it's still not as crazy as uh, SoFi Stadium. $110 or $60 for parking. It was a long night editing last night. That's why I'm super late today. But I still decided to come and do a little video. And you would think with all those thousands and thousands of people here, that business would be good. But all those years I've been working on the beach, it's never been good when the Hare Krishnas were down here. They just come here, they do their religious thing. They eat for free and they just hang out. They don't get a henna, they don't buy any t-shirts from anybody. So even though it looks super busy, it is not. Those are the colorful chariots that actually pull down the boardwalk. Like I said, I'm a little late, but they have like maybe 30 people pulling it. And there's another one right here. It is colorful for sure. Later on in the day, they give away those flowers. There is a steering wheel in there, but you can't really pull it too far because those are huge tires. You got to do it really slowly. And I remember when I first came here, they actually had a real elephant pulling this thing. That was years ago, maybe 30 years ago. Those flowers look really nice. But I don't really like the smell of it. I don't know, for some reason, really strong smell. And this is a good thing. They give away free cold drinks here on Venice Beach. Thank you. And the good thing is they're all sugar free though. Even the Calypso tumblers are not working today because of that loud music. They can't get an audience. Plenty of books about the religion and the vegan lifestyle. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? You want to grab a book? I'm good, thank you. It is probably really good the way they eat. Here you can leave a donation and then you take a picture. I don't really know. Is that Bhagwan or Hare Krishna? I'm not sure. They got vegan pizza, slice, four dollars, soda and water for two dollars. used to buy four of those every year, smoothie, strawberry and mango, but they're too sweet, not this year. It's so delicious though. And you just come here and chill. From what I'm thinking is, they believe in reincarnation. Even while relaxing, I think they're chanting inside. They have this beats in there. And they're chanting why they relax. It's a hot day today. It's good to have an umbrella. Mm -mm -mm, yummy watermelon. A whole plate full, only $2. That's definitely the one day where the Hare Krishnas take over Venice Beach. It's pretty packed down here. There you got your questions and answers over there. You got delicious snacks and vegetarianism. That watermelon looks good. It's cold too. Delicious vegetarian snacks. All vegan. Even the cookies are vegan. Hare Krishna. Welcome Hare Krishna. To party. Yes. Nice to see you every year. Good to see Don't you, man. Our, our, our yogurt milkshake. <laughs> That's right. I saw the last video. It was good. Even the Hare Krishnas are watching YouTube? 
I didn't know they have a phone too. Look at this colorful umbrella. Found sense. I have so many it, questions. God is so merciful. We but I don't learn. think he has answers we to, to it. We have to be knocked around sometimes. And that's what the whole principle of samsara. Man, I like his shirt. It's not Top Gun. He's the top dad. <laughs> More coconut is coming here. They're running out of coconut. You got to put the lime in the coconut. Fresh coconut. And this is how you open up a coconut here. Look at this. Quick. Boom, boom. They do free yoga here. You can just come down and yoga out a little bit here. You're a happy dog. Look at you. Are you going to do some yoga? <laughs> I have a friend who has a, a female dog, Suki. Are you interested? I can hook you up. I can hook you up. <laughs> What? Are you interested or no? I looked at it yesterday and I don't really feel good looking at it, you know? Yeah. Because I'm already here at the end, so... It's the harsh reality of this, of this material world. It know? is, so, so... So we gotta make a permanent solution to get out of this cycle. But is because that... What do they believe in? They believe in reincarnation or what do they believe in? Yeah, it's, the soul is transmigrating from one body to another just like we do from old age so it's not gonna you're not gonna be animals or something we're gonna be another human being is that what they believe there's no guarantee that you'll be a human being you can be another you can be an animal in your next life if you have animalistic desires okay you go according to your desire you go into that body Krishna says whatever state of being when he remembers when he quits his body that state he will attain without fail that's why in this human form of life we have to take advantage and learn about Krishna because as an animal, we cannot learn about God. We cannot learn about the soul. We can't ask these questions. But if we don't use that opportunity in this human life, when we have the intelligence, then we will all, we might take birth as an animal again and lose that opportunity. I appreciate it. I don't want to make it too long here, you know. Uh, but anyway, thanks a lot for your information. I, I, like, I like all your videos, man. Thank you so much. For I can't believe the Hare Krishna has watched my videos, oh, yeah, man. I do. Okay. I live in Florida. I live in Alachua, Florida. Shout out to Alachua, Florida. All right. Thanks to Nanda for food. Hey, Jai from Hare Krishna. Shout out to Jai Rana and Ramananda family in Canada. To and, Shana, uh, <laughs> to who? To Shana Rana, Hana Rana? <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay. I actually remember him in Germany they had nightclubs a Hare Krishna nightclub where they're all like people that they believe in Hare Krishna they had like a nightclub and he was always a picture in the front when you walk into the nightclub and you might think I'm kidding that they had a nightclub but I'm not they really had a nightclub in Düsseldorf a Bakwa nightclub they do have really nice and colorful artwork though I really like that elephant here and now you know why henna is slow today because they do henna tattoos and face painting here for free i can't believe you get the henna tattoo over here i thought you're gonna get it from me i should get it from you <laughs> look at this i should challenge them but i think she got way more talent than me that looks beautiful look at this wow and she uses a cone all freestyle you know how many times people ask me when they come in my store, they look around, they say, where's the Indian lady who does the henna tattoo? And when I say, no, 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 I'm the one doing it. And they look at me like, are you kidding? You know how to do henna tattoos? Damn, the GIV knows a lot of stuff you don't know. As you can see, everybody's enjoying themselves. It's a huge festival. People come and eat. This is the free food you're getting. Those mm -hmm. are chips, chocolate. All this is vegan. Yep. With the drink too. And you get a free drink, but this kind of looks like styrofoam. The taste of your food's over there. Right? That's right. Normally I would say if it's free, it's for me, but I tried the free food over the years and it's not my taste. I mean, everybody has different tastes. I'm not saying it's bad. A lot of people that come here, they like it. But for me, it's not for me. Normally they have a huge line here, but it looks like you just walk up today and grab one. This Hare Krishna member buys at my favorite store, Ross Dress for Less. I can't tell if the shirt is from there or the pants. Last year they had the religious down here that believe in Jesus and they were fighting over whose God is the better God. This year I don't see him here, but it's always sad to see because 
let them have their day once a year, you know. And then on their on their day, they come down here and try to argue with them. So, hey, you believe whatever you want to believe in, you know. So, whatever rocks your boat. Those are not Hare Krishna dresses, but they look beautiful, though. I think they're twins. Nice. They don't really care about the Hare Krishnas. They just want to get the next big wave right here. All right. They do have nice colorful outfit. Look at this. Nice. The shining twins going along the way. I wonder if I had a twin, if you would wear the same things I would wear. I don't want that. I'm just chilling here underneath that nice colorful umbrella here with my friend who does the... It's not Chinese writing. It's kind of like writing your name with different calligraphy, like a bird or something like this. I show you. That's what he does, writing. Also like an art form. And it's only one dollar per letter. So if you're down here in Venice, you gotta support him. He's a really good artist. Nice. I wonder if I can do that. Let me try one later on. Look who we got here, the rice lady. Birds love her. She's writing your name on a grain of rice. She's already famous in Venice here. Man, you can't really see how she rides it on there. That's how small it is. That's how small it is. <laughs> One little grain of rice. Jason? Jason. All right. Sometimes it's stressful too when you think, hmm, should I open, shouldn't I open, should I open? So you're always in between, so you can never really relax. You always think, how much would I make if I would have been open? And then you open and you don't make that much. It's like, ah, I shouldn't open that day. So I got to live with that, that I can relax. That's a hard time I'm having, just letting things go. I say, okay, today I'm just filming. I'm not going to work and uh, that's it. So I have a hard time doing that. Maybe you do the same thing. You're always like, oh, I should do, I should, I should, I should, I should have. No, I just should film right now and concentrate on the video. I believe it is relaxing when you just lay down and listen to that music. One thing is for sure, tonight I'm going to be chanting, going to sleep. Hare Krishna. I think that's what it is. If you hear the name all the time, it kind of like stuck in your brain. Yeah, yeah. 
Andy, look at this. Well, I showed you my friend's store yesterday and mom called me this morning. She said, I really want one of those pink heads. Mom's birthday is coming up August 26th. She's going to be 77 years old. And she said she wants one of the pink heads here. So mom, which one do you want? You want the mom one? You want the Venice Beach one? Tell me, mom, which one do you want? Look, this is kind of like the friends one. Mom is going to be 77 years old and she wants a pink head. Mom. What are you thinking? Dress accordingly. I remember my grandpa, my grandma, how they dressed when they were 60. I'm almost 60 and they were like looking really old. But I think that would look good on you, mom. It's actually a good idea to get mom a pink head. So if she's in the crowd, I can always pick her out really easy with the pink head. Everybody's taking picture with the I love Venice sign. I love it. I saw that guy yesterday, he had like even more cans, I can't believe. That guy is a really hustler here. And if you didn't get your Taylor Swift shirts at the concert, there's plenty of shirts you can get right here. Taylor Swift on Venice Beach, she's everywhere. See, they're giving those flowers away now. All those flowers are gone. Next is gonna be those flowers here. <laughs> she finally got it. She's really happy to got the flowers. Yeah. So the GIV actually got a balloon today. And we'll see what I can do with this. I'm going to tie something to it and let it go. And maybe some lucky guy is going to get the balloon. So I tied this $10 bill to the balloon and hopefully somebody's gonna find it. Good luck. There it goes. Looks like it's heading downtown the skid row direction. Downtown is all the way down that way. Well, my friends, that was enough Hare Krishna for me. I'm Hare Krishna out like really loud music and that was enough for me anyway if you happen to like this video you know what to do nah, 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 nah. and subscribe to the GIV I'm tired see you guys later just saying